Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the daily devotional with this little book, The Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is February 16th, 2021, Tuesday, and the title of today's devotional is Rich Inheritance. The scripture is from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 12. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world, to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace that he ravished on us. With all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, according, according to his good pleasure that he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to gather up all things in him, things in heaven and things, in, uh, things on earth. In Christ, we have also obtained an inheritance, having been destined according to the purpose of him who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will, so that we, who were the first to set our hope on Christ, might live for the praise of his glory. Amen. Another scripture is Ephesians chapter 2, 8. By grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Amen. Today's story is from Stephen, who lives in Virginia. Upon achieving the senior rank of chief petty officer in the United States Navy, I adapted this saying, never forget where you came from. As a young adult, I walked away from the faith that had been modeled for me. By loving Christian parents, I forgot where I came from. Even though the inheritance was freely given through our Lord Jesus and Savior, Years later, on a Navy warship in the middle of the ocean, I found myself broken and bitter. At that moment, I remembered where I came from. I remembered the sounds of my father praying in the middle of the night, calling out family names, uh, family members' names, including my own, in the name of Jesus. I repented and redirected, rededicated myself to Jesus Christ, and I vowed to make sure that I modeled my faith, prayed for others, and encouraged my sons and everyone around me in the rich heritage of a faithful Christian walk as it has been passed on to me. Yes, we have the heritage, the faith, the love of God, and grace of God. We have that heritage.
Jesus. So we have faith, and we are loving one another. We should remember where we came. We came from God, and we will go back to God. God is our source for our life, and God is the destination for our life. I hope we remind this fact all the time. One day, I think you get the heritage. Maybe your parents or your family members invited you into faith. Maybe your friends or your neighbors invited you into faith journey, or just God lead, lead led you into the faithful a、uh, faith journey through God's Spirit. Where and when? Did you start your faith journey? It does not matter who initiated and who delivered the message to you. The important thing is this: you received the message from someone who walked first in the, on the journey and who invited you into the journey. To walk together, and this is our turn, and this is Jesus' call and God's call for us. God wants us share this journey with others. Jesus wants us to invite people into God's love and grace through this faith journey. Maybe some of you. Or walk away from the faith. Maybe you, all of you, are still in the faith. If you walk away, I hope I would like to invite you come back to God. God is your source, the source of life, source of joy. Source of delight, source of great future. So please come back to God. If you are staying in God's blessing, if you are staying in the faith journey, let us keep going. Let us keep going on the journey, because this is the way, the journey for life, for truth, and for grace. So let's go together. And let's inherit this blessing to others, not only our children or our relatives, but also people who are near us and dear us. So that let them have Jesus in their heart, let them find meanings, the ways in their life from Jesus, from God. From the truth. Let me read prayer that Stephen wrote here, and then I will add my prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us to remember your great love for us. When we forget where we came from, help us to lift up those who are struggling with their faith, and to call out their names to you as others have done for us. Gracious God, we are blessed because we are in your arms. We are in your journey. We are in your protection. We are taking the journey, the faith journey, because of your guide and your love. And this time, we are reminded. Of of where we came, we came from God. You, we came from our people, who inherited 
their faith journey to us. Lord, let us help you and let us call the names who lost their family and who lost, I mean, who turns away from you, who walk away from you. There are many people who have who needs you and we would like to be the people who invite them to you again so that let them see the light from you let them see the hope in you let them see the truth in you lord please be with us and help us please Hi, this time I'd like to ask you to give us your healing, your peace, and your justice. Give us your wisdom, strength, and wonders in our lives so that all people are healed by you. All people have peace in their heart because of you. And all people have hope in you. Lord, please help us and lead us and bless us today. And let us be the messenger who share your love and grace with others. Let us be the people who inherit your love and grace to others. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day and I will see you uh, tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Oh, uh, one thing I'd like to let you know is this. Tomorrow is the first day of Lent, actually Ash Wednesday. And Lent is 40 days of a time that we remind ourselves of a Jesus' sacrificial love. And it is also time to participate in Jesus' passion, who died for us on the cross with a lot of passion. Please join us on our worship service tomorrow. And from tomorrow uh, to the end of Lent, uh, lay servants of the church and I will provide um, this daily devotional, uh, this da uh, daily devotional every Monday through Saturday. So different people you will see, uh, different people delivered uh, the message from the uh, upper room and scripture. So I hope you join us uh, in daily devotional uh, during Lent from Monday through Saturday. And on Sunday we have worship and also uh, Wednesday night, tomorrow, I mean today, uh, tomorrow night, we have Ash Wednesday service, online service. So please join us through this channel, I mean YouTube channel or Facebook page. And let us begin Lent with our worship to God. Have a great day and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.